What's going on guys? Jack Malaco here for Beard Brand. It's the week 13 update of the Growing of My Yard, and today we're going to talk all about how often you should be getting your beards trimmed. I get the question a lot that people wonder how often they should really be trimming their beards or going to a barbershop or salon to actually have it be trimmed by a professional. I typically recommend that you go to a professional for your first few trims before you really get comfortable trimming your own beard. Unless you've been doing it for years, I really wouldn't recommend doing it yourself. You could end up really taking off a big chunk of your beard and then, I don't know, you might have to start over and that'd be terrible. I think that there are three stages you want to keep in mind when you go to get your beard trimmed. The first one is one that I actually did not do for this series only because my beard comes in pretty fast and I really don't want to get it trimmed right away but that's the one month mark. I think after you've put in the 30 days with absolutely no trimming and no shaping at all you can really go into a barber or a salon and have them define the cheek lines for you and define the necklines and maybe just cut a little bit of a tiny bit of a shape into your beard. I wouldn't say going for a huge length trim of course, your beard's not going to be huge after 30 days, so you really just want to cut off some dead ends and sort of start to build that shape in that first month with that first trim. This one is essential to do with a professional, though, if you're going to go for that trim, because a lot of times what guys will do is they'll be a little bit scared when they hit that 30-day mark. They've either never seen their beard this big before, or they thought they would have a bigger beard, or it's bigger than they thought they would have, and a lot of times they'll grab the trimmer and they'll just take it way too far down. So for this first one, you really wanna to talk to your barber or your stylist. If, however, you wanna go for just defining the cheek line and the neckline like I did for my series, that's totally fine too. And hey, I really would consider that a trim in and of itself. So that first month is the definition and shape. The second milestone that you wanna go for is kind of where I am right now. That's the three month mark. Once you hit three months, that's where you're gonna really start to see the quintessential Let's call it the short beard, or as Jeff on the channel calls it, the athletic beard. That's kind of where it's tight, it's nice round, you really haven't put too much of a shape in there, but you're starting to see split ends and you're starting to see a little bit of this craziness that's going on, maybe in your neck area, maybe up here with your cheeks if you don't shave as often as I do. But either way, you're probably going to want to go in for the maintenance trim at the three month mark. That one you could technically do on your own, but again, I'm always gonna recommend that you go to a professional if you don't have much experience with trimming your own beard. We have some great videos on the channel of how you can trim your beard at home. However, if you're going for the year challenge like me, I do believe that a professional is the best person that you want in your life for your beard when you're going for the year. One thing you wanna absolutely keep in mind though, when you're bringing your beard to the barbershop or to the salon, is make sure that they know if you're going for the year that you don't want any length trimmed off. I was actually growing my mustache out for some time and I wasn't clear enough with my barber that I didn't want the mustache trimmed for any length. I just wanted it cleaned up a little bit, but he ended up taking it a little bit too high and that's on me. So communication with your barber or your stylist is absolutely key. The third milestone that you're gonna wanna take a look at for the growing of your beard for a full year, if you are doing that, is the six month mark. That's where it's gonna be a little bit longer, it's gonna come off your face completely. If you're not getting it trimmed very often, it's gonna get pretty wild. Even with the use of products, it's gonna kinda of get out of control by that six month mark. And this is the one that I would say, if you're only gonna get one trim when you're going for the year, this will be the only one that I would say you absolutely should consider going for. Again, communicate with your barber or your stylist that you do not want the length trimmed off if you're going for the year. Some people say what the rules of the year is, you can't even get it trimmed at all. I don't follow that line of logic because if you were to go completely without trimming at all, there's a good chance that your beard will just grow out and there really won't be any shape to it. And that really kind of goes against what I'm trying to promote with this series. I want to show you that you can take care of a beard while growing it out for an entire year. There are steps that you need to take on a weekly basis and on a more long-term basis with the trims that you need to go in for every few months. I'm at three months now. That's pretty crazy. I think I'm actually a week behind. I'm starting to lose track of days. I think it's about time that I, uh, I bring my beard to a barber shop. So I'm going to keep my eye out in the Austin area for some barbers that will help me tame this wild man beard and hopefully I'll get it on camera. If I can, maybe I can get a little bit of a narration from the barber, we can talk about what's going on, I can show you how to communicate with your barber or your stylist. So keep your eye on the channel for that. I'm gonna try my hardest to get into a barber shop that will let me film that, 
and we'll go from there, guys. All right, so let's get into the close-up of my year, and you guys can see the progress of this thing 13 weeks in. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, I really appreciate the views, the comments, everything that you guys are doing. It's making this a really fun experience. So until next time, keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.